Today we're talking about Graduate Hospital, popular among both young professionals and families. A more affordable choice than Rittenhouse Square, but close enough to still enjoy all the benefits of this great city. In today's video, we are exploring one of the best neighborhoods in all of Philly, Graduate Hospital. I'll show you what the area is like, what your housing options are here, and who may benefit from living here. We'll also touch on areas you might want to avoid, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Chris Furman and this is my channel, Living in Center City, Philadelphia. Welcome, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn more about what it's like to live and enjoy Center City, Philly, make sure to tap that subscribe button below and click that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified each and every time we put out a brand new video. And we actually get a lot of people that are reaching out to us looking to relocate to the Center City, Philly area, and we love helping them out on their journey. So if you're thinking about making a move to the area, have any questions about particular buildings here, neighborhoods, the market, what's going on, really anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. Just shoot us an email, all of our contact info is below in the description, and we would be more than happy to help you out. We live and breathe Center City, Philly. All right, let's dive into the Graduate Hospital neighborhood tour. Let's talk briefly about the history of this area first and why it goes by Graduate Hospital or Grad Hospital for short. And to make it more confusing, there are actually several other names for this neighborhood like Southwest Center City or South of South. Now, the city officially recognizes this neighborhood as Southwest Center City and the name does seem to make sense as it's actually descriptive of this neighborhood as the neighborhood Grad Hospital is just south of Center City and in the west half of Center City. However, no one calls it by that. Almost everyone calls it by Graduate Hospital or South of South, with really Grad Hospital being one of the most popular names so far. The name Graduate Hospital comes from the medical facility in the area that is actually no longer in operation. So the name actually makes even less sense, but it's stuck and it is what it is. Grad Hospital is located just south of South Street and south of Rittenhouse and the Fittler Square neighborhoods in Philadelphia. The neighborhood is between South Street to the north and Washington Ave to the south and between the Schuylkill River and Broad Street. Now, according to the strict definition of South Philly, being south of South Street, Grad Hospital is technically in South Philly. However, the residents of this area probably wouldn't call it that. They would say something like, hey, we live in Grad Hospital, or many would actually still consider it an extension of Center City and just say Center City. The area has certainly gone through a ton of change over the last several decades. It was once an area that actually few wanted to be in. However, Grad Hospital is now a booming neighborhood that has a ton of singles, young professionals, and many families want to be here as well. A decade ago, a million dollar house in Grad Hospital was basically unheard of. However, now it's fairly commonplace. In fact, in 2023, approximately 15% of the homes that sold here were sold for north of $1 million. So what is Graduate Hospital like? Well, in general, it's going to have a more residential vibe than, say, Rittenhouse or maybe around Broad and City Hall, as this neighborhood is a bit removed from the heart of Center City with taller office buildings, taller condo buildings, lots of restaurants, coffee shops, all of that that you get around Rittenhouse. So naturally, there's gonna be less people walking around, there's gonna be less noise in this area, and it's again gonna be more of like a residential vibe. Though I suppose it depends exactly what part of Grad Hospital you're in. For example, if you're right by South Street or let's say Washington Ave, there's gonna be much more going on there, more noise, etc. South Street and Washington Ave are both more commercial in nature. However, they are both vastly different from one another. Now personally, I would probably prefer to live closer to South Street and say Washington Ave. However, you'll have to come down, drive the area, make that determination for yourself and kind of get the vibe of the particular street that you're looking for. So who would want to move and live in Grad Hospital? Well, I think the first category of folks are people that are looking for a more affordable area, yet being close enough to the hustle and bustle of Rittenhouse and uh, Center City. So you still want that nightlife, you want the downtown scene, you want all the other uh, amenities of Rittenhouse in the Center City area, but you don't necessarily want or can afford that cost of being right in the center of it all. Now, I will break down more of the housing costs in this neighborhood later in the video, so stay tuned for that. And the second group of people that would really enjoy this area are gonna be young professionals. 
This area attracts a fair amount of young professionals, really due to its affordability, being close to, again, the nightlife, the action, but being in a more affordable area, but close enough to a ton of the downtown employers. So they're gonna be working, maybe let's say in Market Street or in the medical community or a variety of other places in the area, but can still enjoy that nightlife after hours when they're going to the bar, the restaurants, things like that. The next group of people that would benefit from living in Grad Hospital are gonna be medical professionals. We already have a ton of medical professionals in the area, and really that's mainly due to the convenient access to the South Street Bridge, which takes you right over the Schuylkill River and into University City, which is where there's a very large cluster of medical facilities in the area. Everything from the famous CHOP, HUP, and a ton of other facilities are in that area. So a lot of folks can get right over that bridge and maybe a 15 to 30 minute walk, bike ride, or catching a bus right over that bridge from this area, very convenient. The next group of people that would really benefit from living in this area are gonna be families. Now we've already talked about young professionals, singles, and things like that, and this area does attract a number of those. However, it is really certainly a stellar option for families, and many families do call this area home for a number of reasons. And one of the ones that we've already touched on is affordability. You can get more square feet in this area than in Rittenhouse or Fiddler Square, for example, for the same price. And if you've got kids, you may just need that extra space. And another reason that families really enjoy this area is because you're not in the midst of the hustle and bustle of Rittenhouse. And many families prefer that, a slightly more low key area, especially when they have kids, yet they can still get to Rittenhouse or they can still get to the heart of Center City and all the amenities and benefits that that does have, like going out on a date night, hiring a babysitter, catching an Uber to get right downtown to Rittenhouse and enjoy the nightlife, enjoy a date, but again, when you come home to retreat back into a little bit more of seclusion, a little bit more of privacy, a little bit less noise for the kids generally, that's what a lot of families are looking for. And if you live in the Northwest section of Grad Hospital, you're gonna be pretty close to the Schuylkill River Park and the kids playground there. There's a pretty neat amenity of the area if you've got kids. And even if you don't, you're gonna still love this amenity. There's a dog park here, both for large dogs and small dogs. There's basketball courts, pickleball courts, all of that is right here. It's a very nice amenity of the area. Also noteworthy is that there is a YMCA in the neighborhood. It's really the only YMCA anywhere in the center city area. It's called the Christian Street YMCA. And as you probably know, Ys are very kid friendly with childcare normally being included in your membership. Someone watch your kids while you work out. My family was a member of this YMCA five or so years ago and it's really great Y nice and clean they've got a swimming pool and all it's very nice amenity for families another reason you may want to consider grad hospital is if you like newer homes the average year homes were, were built here or rehabbed here is going to be much later than in rittenhouse now you could certainly find some very nice new rehabs in rittenhouse but those are going to be costly however in grad hospital more of your options here are going to be newer and this is essentially because grad hospital was a more rundown area and not popular for a long time. So not many developers or flippers were operating here until more recently. Hence the newer homes or newly remodeled homes came along here much later than a written house or a lot of really center city for that matter. Now you don't just get some new rehabs here, but there are actually complexes of townhomes or communities that are completely brand new from scratch. You'll get both in the area. And you can get some, again, nice stuff in Rittenhouse, don't get me wrong, um, but a lot of what you get in Rittenhouse is just gonna be rehabs. You're not necessarily gonna get a new home from the ground up in Rittenhouse. And if you do, it's gonna be in the multiple, multiple, multiple millions of dollars. And real quick, if you found this video helpful thus far, it would mean the world to me if you wouldn't mind clicking that like button below so that YouTube knows that I'm putting out some helpful content. And also, before we dive into your real estate options here, in Grad Hospital. As much as we love making these videos, we love helping people relocate to the Center City Philly area even more. So if you're remotely considering moving here in the next few months or even the next few years, it's never too early to start getting actual information. So just shoot me a quick email to chris at meetchris.com so I can keep you up to date on what's going on in the Center City Philly area. So if living in Graduate Hospital sounds appealing to you, let's talk about your housing options here. Most of your housing options in the neighborhood are gonna be two or three-story townhomes. Some will have garages 
or potentially park in a gated area and most homes here will not have parking. It will just be street parking. Most of the homes in this area are gonna be townhomes as opposed to condos. However, you will still have a fair amount of condo conversions here where you have only a few units in one townhome building. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this neighborhood does have a few very unique gated communities that are pretty stellar options really for everyone, singles, uh, empty nesters, families, everyone in between. So if that's you, send me an email to chris at meetchris.com with the subject grad hospital gated communities if you would like more info on those communities just pause the video real quick and send me an email with the subject grad hospital gated communities and we'll send that information right over and to give you an idea of pricing the median home price in the neighborhood was somewhere around six hundred fifteen thousand dollars in 2023 now, if you follow median home pricing very carefully and compare it to other neighborhoods, you might be wondering why is this more expensive or higher at least than let's say Rittenhouse? It's a really good question. And the answer is actually found by digging a bit deeper into the median price per square foot and comparing the size of homes in the area. So although this neighborhood appears more expensive, it's actually not. In this area, you're gonna have larger homes on average than let's say Rittenhouse Square. And many of the townhomes here are gonna be three or more bedrooms. Whereas you compare that to Rittenhouse, the homes there are generally gonna lean smaller. So maybe two bedrooms versus three bedrooms. And let's look at sizing. The median square feet in this neighborhood is 1620. Now you compare that to Rittenhouse's of 1260. So obviously there are larger homes with more square foot in the Grad Hospital area compared to the Rittenhouse Square area. So now let's look at price per square foot. Well, in 2023, the median price per square foot in Grad Hospital was approximately $400. And in Rittenhouse, it was approximately $471. So Grad Hospital is a more affordable neighborhood. And in particular, many families find this area suitable for their needs. Now, although many families like the amenities of the neighboring Fiddler Square, for example, many ultimately pick Grad Hospital due to its affordability while still being family friendly and again, close to the amenities of Fiddler Square or Rittenhouse. And to give you some pricing insights here, Fiddler Square's median price per square foot in 2023 was $522 versus Grad Hospital's of $400. Many parts of Grad Hospital are stellar for families and really for everyone. However, you may not find all areas as desirable, which we'll get into that in a moment. Now, pricing is all over the map in this neighborhood, really like everywhere in Center City, but generally it's gonna be more expensive to the northern section of the neighborhood, closer to South Street, compared to being closer, to, let's say, Washington Ave at the bottom. Though a brand new construction home closer to Washington can still be more expensive just because it's brand new. Washington Ave, as we kind of talked about, it's an industrial section. It's a little bit less desirable, though it's changing pretty rapidly. It's really hit or miss depending on the area. Again, you really have to drive around to see what you're comfortable with, to see what you want to be around. For a three bedroom townhome, you can get townhomes here in the 300s, Though I would say a budget closer to 500,000 to a million, it's gonna be a much better range for most folks. As mentioned, there are plenty of homes in the million dollar plus range that are really beautiful. And for a one or two bedroom home, your budget should be somewhere around 300,000 to $700,000. All right, that's it for the neighborhood tour. Click here to see other tours about other awesome neighborhoods in Center City, Philadelphia.